Today we are going to show you how to build a compressor system in your garage. Follow me. We are going to use a Top Ring Home Garage Flexible Kit to build the compressor system. Before starting, it is very important to make a plan and to read the instruction manual. We are in an isolated garage connected to the house. This is perfect since we do not want the ambient temperature of use to be below freezing. The garage measures 14 feet by 28 feet. We have a compressor with a built-in air tank located in the back of the garage with a running rating of 3.7 horsepower. Top ring system absolutely must be connected after a tank and not directly to the compressor. And the compressor must not have more than five horsepower. The goal of our network is to have two air outlets to inflate tires, clean and run air tools. We will install the network at a height of eight feet with one air outlet in the front and one in the back. Both will be installed four feet above finished floor for easy access. Okay, we will now go through uh, the parts and tools that are required to uh, complete the installation today, starting with the content of the home garage kit. So the kit comes with one polyurethane tubing, half inch by 100 feet, one tube cutter, one straight connector, half inch by 3.8 male NPT, two straight connectors, half inch by half inch male NPT, two straight unions, half inch, six union elbows, half inch, one T-union, half inch, 25 mounting clips for a half inch tube, two aluminum manifolds, half inch female NPT by 3.8 female NPT outlets with a drain, one miniature end valve, three way half inch, two quick couplers, quarter inch industrial interchange, 3.8 male NPT, one ergonomic blowgun, 10 centimeters extension, two plugs, quarter inch industrial, quarter inch male NPT threads, one installation guide. We will also need one adjustable wrench, a roll of Teflon tape, Number 10 by 3 quarter round head wood screws, a measuring tape, safety glasses, cutting tape, a pencil, a drill with screwdriver tip, a reducer 3/8 female by quarter inch female NPT, and finally a step ladder. Before beginning the installation, here is a list of steps to follow. Clear the space, make a freehand sketch, mark the locations for the outlets, mark the locations where the mounting brackets will be installed. Shut down the compressor and bleed the air. We are now ready to begin. All right, we are now done with the installation and we will go through the whole system just to walk you through our thought process. 
So we've started by installing the manifold at the 45 inches height, just to make it more convenient for the users to connect their tools. As you can see here, we've put the line as far as we could from the garage door, just to avoid the cold air from during the winter to go in contact with the, with the line, which could create some condensation. We then went up 95 inches above the floor, all the way down the garage. And we also installed uh, one mounting bracket every 18 to 36 inches, just to make sure that the line is straight and neat. And then at this point, that's where we wanted our second outlet to be installed. So we've put a T there. So one tube goes down and the other tube by using an elbow will go across the room here up until the compressor. We then went down at the compressor side. We've installed a miniature ball valve um, just in case we need to do some maintenance in the system. And then to um, allow the users to uh, move the compressor if it needs to do some work outside, we've decided to attach a plug to the system that can be connected to the compressor's coupling. The uh, step that is left to do is to pressurize the whole system and see if there is no uh, leaks. So the pressure of the compressor is at 110 PSI. We will turn on the valve and we will hear if there are any leaks. So now that the system has been pressurized, uh, we can now go test the outlets by using uh, the blow gun that comes with the home garage kit. and everything seems to be working fine. I hope this video will help you better configure your air system in the future. And if you would like to get more information about the Ohm Garage Flexible Kit, you can go on topring.com and search for product code 05.900.